You want to make a modded server in 1.21.7. We're going to show you how to do that in this video. Now, we're going to be using the fabric mod loader for this. However, be sure to subscribe because we are going to be releasing guides and always release guides for every my major Minecraft mod loader, specifically Fabric Forge and Neo Forge for every new Minecraft version. So if you're looking for those, check the description. There's a link to those down there. But we're for Fabric and making a modded server with Fabric, we're first going to want to download some Minecraft mods. Now, there are links in the description, tons of them for everything we talk about in this video. But you can also go to Google and just search for Minecraft. Minecraft mod downloads, and you will find CurseForge and ModRenth here as well. Those are the only sites I would really trust downloading mods from consistently because everything's checked and all that for any, you know, viruses and things that could be in them. Nevertheless, when we're downloading mods, we always want to filter for our mod loader, Fabric in this case, and our game version. Now for Fabric, I would always recommend grabbing the Fabric API. So we're going to go ahead and do that here on CurseForge. So we can come here and download this from files, that 1.21.7 version, right like so. On CurseForge, you're going to have to wait for files to download. Now while this is downloading, I do want to mention this server is not going to be up 24-7 and it's hosted on your own computer, meaning that you're going to be using your own computer's resources and your own internet connection, which means you're going to be using your own IP, which people can figure out where you live using. So what if you don't have to worry about any of that? Well, that's where our company's Simple Game Hosting comes in. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple, where you can start a 24-hour DDoS-protected modded Minecraft server on any mod loader you want in just a few clicks. There's even one-click installation of mod packs, meaning you can play whole mod packs with your friends in minutes. On top of that, the hardware is built for Minecraft servers to have mods on them, meaning you're able to run your server without any CPU issues and things like that. Plus, there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. So don't struggle to start a Minecraft server. Do it the simplest and easiest way possible at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple. Nevertheless, we can also download mods from Modernth here, and again, we want to make sure we're filtering for 1.21.7 and Fabric. Now, there's a ton of options here, but unfortunately, there's not a ton of stuff updated as uh, 1.21.7 came out today. So we're going to grab simple voice chat in this case here, and we want to make sure that we are grabbing the 1.21.7 Fabric version of it. Once we're here, we can click the download button and it will download again. Not many mods are updated yet, but that's okay. This will work exactly the same. Now, we're also going to want to get Fabric. Fabric is the mod loader we're going to be using to make all of this work. And you can find a link to it down below, but you can also search Google for Fabric Minecraft Download. When you do, it will take you here where we want to go ahead and click download and download this universal jar here. Now, normally you could use download for Windows, but when doing a server, we want to make sure we have Java. So we want to use this download universal jar. It'll open up. You may need to keep or save the file, right like so. Now, with that being said, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And what we want to do is right click and create a new folder on our desktop. Now, I'm going to name this our modded Minecraft 1.21.7 fabric server. You can name this literally anything that you want, and we want to move the files we downloaded from our downloads folder into our desktop just because they're going to be easier to manage here. Now, we have our Minecraft mods. We're going to set those aside for a second. That's the fabric API and voice chat. We want to be focusing on this fabric installer. Go ahead and right click on this. Click on open with Java. If you don't have Java here, what we want to do is download Java 21. This is linked down below. You can also search Google for Java 21 download and then we want to make sure we add SC at the end of it and that's going to give us this right here which is the Java 21 download with the Windows installer that's what we're looking for now you're also going to want to run the jar fix after you get Java if you don't have it already and what the jar fix is going to do is take the draw files on your computer and link them back to Java making them work together nevertheless we can go ahead and again right click on the fabric installer click on open with click Java and it will open up right like so then we want to make sure 1.21.7 is selected and we want to click on server at the top. Then you want to click these three dots here. This is extremely important. So click server at the top, make sure 1.21.7 is selected, and then click these three dots. Then navigate to the folder you created. So click desktop and then find the folder, modded 1.21.7 fabric server in our case. Click open, and now we can go ahead and click install. It's going to install everything, but you're not done yet. You want to go ahead and click download server jar. So it's going to go ahead and do that. And then finally, generate launch scripts. Click generate here. And then finally, after you've clicked all of that, click done and you are good. Your Fabric server is set up. Now, I'd also recommend to the Fabric installer clicking client here, making sure 1.21.7 is selected and clicking install. What that's going to do is make sure Fabric's installed locally because you need Fabric installed locally in order to join your server. That's you. That's anyone who joins your server needs Fabric and the mods you have on your server installed in their local mods folder. We'll cover that a bit more in depth a little later. We can now delete the Fabric installer though. And if we open up our modded Minecraft server folder, we have everything we need. Specifically, we have this start Windows batch file. If you double click on that, your server is going to attempt to start, but 
it initially will fail. And that's because we need to agree to Minecraft's EULA file. So the EULA.txt that will generate in here. We can see, press any key to continue. That will close out of this. And we now have this EULA.txt file. Open that. And assuming you agree to the Minecraft EULA, which we do, change EULA equals false to EULA equals true. T-R-U-E, exactly like that. Click File, Save, and now if you double click your start.bat file here, it will start the server, but you can also install your mods. To install mods on your server, all you've got to do is open the mods folder within your Minecraft server folder here. This is where your server jar is, your fabric server launch file, your start file, there's a mods folder. Open that up and move any Minecraft mods you want to add to your server directly into this mods folder. It's that easy. Now, we are going to need these later, but we'll come back. Let's go ahead and now start the server with the start server.bat or the start.bat file, and the server will start up. Up, you'll know that because eventually it will tell you it is done starting. Let me show you. There it is. After the world is prepared and everything, you can see done right there. It's good to go. Now you can join this server at this point, but I want to go ahead and get a copy of these mods because we're going to need them later. So go ahead and select them here. And then we want to go ahead and right click after we've selected them and select copy. Now we want to open up the Minecraft launcher with our server running. So this is our server up here. We can do things up here like op ourselves, like we could op and then our username. All of that stuff can be done right here in this text box. But once Minecraft's open, we're going to go to Installations, make sure Mod is selected, and Find Fabric. Click on the folder icon that appears here, and then find the Mods folder. Go ahead and paste in this Mods folder the mods that you basically copy from your server. So right-click Paste, and there we go, the Fabric API and Voice Chat. Your friends will also need the Fabric API and Voice Chat installed on their local mods folder, just like we did there, in order for them to join. So make sure you get those mods over to them. Nevertheless, we can now play Minecraft using Fabric, and it's going to be super easy for us to join this server now that this is all set up because the server is online and the mods are installed locally and on our server. So here we are, Minecraft is open with Fabric. We can now go to Multiplayer and we will join this server using the IP address or the server address localhost. Right, like so. You're the only person that can join using localhost, but I would recommend going ahead, typing that in, and joining the server just to make sure things work here. As you can see, Nick's Games joined the server. We are good to go. We can go ahead, fly around. We can we opt ourselves. We can go into Game Mode Creative, for example. All of that stuff. Now, with that being said, what if you want your friends to join the server? Well, in order for your friends to join this server, not only will they need those mods installed locally, like we did ourselves using the Minecraft folder, what we'll also need to do is port forward, and then they'll join using the public IP. Luckily, there's a guide in the description down below on how to do this, how to port forward for a Minecraft server, modded vanilla, it's done the same way, and this will allow your friends to join once it's all set up. This guide covers everything, including getting that public IP address I mentioned, and having your friends join using that. So check it out in the description down below in order to get your server port forwarded and allow your friends to join it. But at this point, you now know how to make a modded server using Fabric in 1.21.7. We will see you in the next video, and I am out. Peace.